Hi, I'm Dave Pennington, uh, Building Envelope Group Manager for Prosico. And this is Greg Renke. He's a chemist and senior R&D specialist in our lab. We're going to show you how to prepare and spray STPE air barrier on a CMU wall today. What we're going to spray today is our Cat5 air barrier coating. So let's talk about mixing Cat5. Uh, what you need to have is a half inch drill, a uh, low speed drill with a Jiffy mixer. And you definitely don't want to use a mud paddle here uh, because uh, that that is handy on jobs, but uh, it will introduce too much air into the product, so a nice jiffy mixer uh, is the way to go. Three to five minutes, you want to move the paddle up and down and around inside the pail to make sure you have uh, a continuity of material and everything is all blended together. But once you have that done, you're ready to spray product. So let's talk about our pump. What we need here is direct immersion pumps that will provide 3,500 to 4,000 PSI at the spray tip. Today we're going to demonstrate with the Graco 833 direct immersion. Uh, on our data sheet we have the specifications for the pumps and the pump and the hoses and everything else, as well as the equivalent in uh, Titan, which is the Power Twin 1200 DI direct immersion pump. Uh, either one of those will work, or again, any pump that gets you 3,500 to 4,000 PSI at the tip. Uh, the other thing to note is that uh, we do remove the filter from the pump so that you can uh, make sure there's a steady flow of product and remind you that when you're uh, cleaning up after this, that this is a water cured product. So you do not want to clean your hoses and equipment with water. We use mineral spirits to flush the hoses and equipment um, uh, and get it clean uh, before we put, put it away for the day. Uh, one of the things we'll tell you on CMU is that this product uh, is a two coat application. Uh, you're going to get overall about 50 square feet per gallon uh, on, this, on this substrate with uh, our sprayable CAD5, um, but you can do that in two coats, so it's, it's 50 total square feet per gallon. Uh, what we like to do as a tip is to put in a light coat first, which causes the material to uh, shrink the pores of the CMU and cure quickly on the surface, and then in the second coat, in a cross-hatching pattern, come through with heavier material uh, so it will fill out and uh, give a profile, a smooth profile to the wall and a, provide a pinhole-free uh, substrate. Uh, what a lot of people do sometimes is try to do it all in one coat. They add so much material, it takes longer to cure, and the weight of the product will get pulled into the CMU, and then you still have to come back and hit a bunch of pinholes uh, which is uh, frustrating, costs more labor, and costs more material. So we'll show you how to crosshatch this product in a nice easy application, thin first coat, and then come back and do the second heavier coat uh, as we described. So what our pump specs call for is a 523 tip, whether you use the Titan or the gray coat. Uh, and Greg is going to start with a horizontal, light horizontal pattern uh, a little bit further away from the wall so he can put that first coat on uh, and, and allow it to uh, cure quickly and shrink the pores of the substrate. Would like you to notice while Greg is applying material that he's going in a wet on wet application which is coming across with one pass and then your second pass is part of the last pass and some new substrate. So it's continually wet on wet as you move up and down the wall across and then back and forth in the crosshatch pattern. After he gets done with that, He's going to come over it in a cross-hatching pattern in a vertical application, a little bit closer to the wall and a little bit heavier uh, to provide a smooth and pinhole free surface. What you're trying to get to is a pinhole free surface like you have here. Sometimes though, and for the purpose of the demonstration, you have some orange peeling where you have a little bit too much material and it may start to sag or run or you get some pinholes and we wanted to show that because uh, one of the things you can do if you have this situation on a project is to come back and back roll. And so what Greg has done is uh, charged a roller here. He's gonna come up and just show us how to uh, fill these pinholes real quickly with a, a roller and also uh, to push around any orange peeling you may have on the job. For this substrate, we have about 50 square feet a gallon that you'll get with this material. Uh, with OSB 
you'll have about 50 square feet per gallon in two coats as well. If you get into a gypsum board, it's 80 to 100 square feet, and you can likely do that in one pass or in one coat application. But all the information we've put in this video today can be found in our data sheet, as well as other information, including how to clean your pump, uh, coverage rates, and of course the pump specifications we recommended or showed you earlier. If you have any questions, you can contact us at Prosico, either at 1-800-255-4255. Someone from there can get you in touch with our local representative that can come out and talk to you more about our products and the application of sprayable Cat5. Thank you.